everyone i am srimanthi and i am currently working as a machine learning engineer at a top us startup in this video i want to clarify exactly what i do as a machine learning engineer my goal here is to help anyone considering this career path understand what the role involves how we work what a typical day looks like and why i believe is such a rewarding profession if you're trying to decide if a career in machine learning is right for you i hope this video provides some clarity we'll talk about actual real salary we'll talk about actual work work hours work life balance kind of work that we do what is needed to get to this role and everything so let's dive right in so what exactly is a machine learning engineer with the rapid growth of ai and machine learning in recent years the role of a machine learning engineer is still evolving and can differ significantly between companies and regions in general a machine learning engineer combines skills in software engineering statistics and machine learning to build and deploy algorithms in the production environments to summarize the main responsibilities of a machine learning engineer include training building and deploying machine learning models You need to be proficient in both data science and software engineering. Essential skills include Python, SQL, AWS, Git, Docker, Kubernetes, Bash, and Zetzel. Essential is the full tech stack from both data and engineering perspectives. I have gotten together all my resources for becoming a machine learning engineer. Roadmap, projects, resources, courses, and books. Definitely check this out. Now this is a question that I have gotten asked so many times. Can you, as a fresher, become a machine learning engineer? The answer is yes. I graduated from my college last year in 2024 May, and I landed a job as a machine learning engineer at a top US startup. It was not easy, I'll never lie, but I I did it, and definitely you can too. The most important thing, if you do not have a good college or you do not have a good CGPA, then the best thing you can do is work on projects. projects are the only thing that show the recruiter your passion and the knowledge that you have gathered by learning the machine learning concepts the best way to get data science projects or machine learning projects in python in pydosh in tensorflow based on nlp concepts machine learning concepts deep learning concepts llm concepts is educatic.io i'm not kidding i have myself purchased subscription for a long time and i regularly consult all the projects that they have So I work as a machine learning engineer within a cross-functional team focused on classical machine learning, fine-tuning, and optimization problems. Most of my work involves improving our machine learning and optimization models to enhance customer experience, drive profitability for the business, and beat benchmarks for competitors in the market. People often glamorize tech jobs and imagining people with lots of coffee breaks, minimal coding, and high salaries. These fang videos have. kept like people awake at night thinking that if you get into fang it's over and it's like amazing and while it's not that quite simple because working in tech does offer a good work environment compared to many other fields but it's not at all simple and it's not what it looks like definitely currently considering the job market probably the least safest job right now that is why it's very essential that we all work long hours and we make the best possible use of our time to deliver the best possible results within the deadline that we are set If earlier than the deadline, then even better. So here's what a typical day looks like for me. So 10 p.m. to 12:30 a.m. at night. Yeah, that's when our day starts because I said our startup is a U.S. startup. So we start the day with a stand up to discuss that day's progress and the next day's tasks throughout the team. Now next comes the 9:30 a.m. to 1 p.m. That is, we go off to sleep and then we wake up at nine. I get dressed and do everything, the morning activities by 9:30. um it's work from home for me like remote so that is why we have to log in right at 9:30 am and we work till 1 pm so begin work as planned fine tuning models data cleaning addressing customer bugs tele- developing features solving after features we have an agenda and assigned tasks similar to software engineers have you ever wondered if you could have someone like megan fox read out to you machine learning notes machine learning concepts deep learning concepts cnn lstm all the boring things that you hit well no gpt's voice designer lets you do exactly that it has been a game changer for me as well as many others in the tech space machine learning is very important and i'll teach you about linear regression so you can understand whose voice this is right it is the voice of the hottest celebrity in the world right now yeah you can clone any voice 
and you can design any kind of voice either energetic storytelling you have the power to grow soothing asmr voice or warm you casual voice or single... any kind of other voices you, you want the with the help of node gpt's ai voice designer feature and you can have them read to you all the important concepts and maths concepts stats concepts machine learning deep learning concepts that you find boring to read from huge blocks of text online next obviously 1 pm to 2 pm is our lunch break so we discuss with our friends we get together we often have some meeting called like a chilling meeting or something just socializing with our colleagues and asking them how things are going what they're having for lunch etc Next comes 2 to 3 p.m. meeting with our manager for discussions and brainstorming. This is very important because we discuss the progress of the week and what the progress over the next few weeks looks like. If I have any problems working, if I want to shift my work, if I want to move to another team, anything that we want to bring up to the manager, this is the time for that. Next, obviously, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. is a deep work session to focus on projects and other tasks. We definitely keep brainstorming, idea phase, hypothesis, testing, deployment, solutions, customer fixes, everything falls under this time. It's just the work hours generally what we have assigned to us. Next comes 6 to 6, that is wrapping up the day and responding to emails and Slack messages and preparing to finish. Often if I am mentoring someone, then this is the time for them to ask any questions to clarify what they are doing and to keep a, basically a one is to one with our mentees. Next comes the take a break and then return at night to obviously work for our meeting and some more work. I generally take this time to basically go to gym or do some other badminton, play some sports, go swimming, anything that we want. Like the evening is for me to just relax and to just get all the stress of the day out so that I'm able to work again tomorrow and do not have any burnout. So there are three main reasons why I enjoy being a machine learning engineer. The first one being obviously the constant learning and excitement. You have to believe that in this field you cannot exist without a passion and knowledge. So AI and machine learning they are rapidly evolving fields. I get to work with cutting edge technologies in the startup that I am currently working at and witness industry changing innovations first hand. Work can be difficult sometimes but that's what makes it so exciting. Second one obviously I cannot lie it's the compensation. The compensation is really awesome. As a machine learning engineer, you can earn upwards of 30 lakh per annum and even it can go up to 40, 50, whatever. There is, There are no bounds to that. And obviously, if you're experienced, then it's obviously higher. And last one is obviously the future opportunities. Machine learning and AI are here to stay. I want to be in a field that is future-proof and future-secure. Machine learning engineers are right now needed in all fields, whether you are analytics, data, finance, banking, healthcare, everywhere. So it's sort of a profession where if you just put in an effort for a year and a half, then you are all set for the future. So that's it from my side. If you enjoyed today's video, definitely like, comment and subscribe. And see you as a machine learning engineer in a year and a half, either at my company or any other company as you want.